Hi, my name is Scott Fetter from Visalia, California, 23 years old, and I'm a creature of CrossFit. So growing up, I did a ton of different sports. Uh, I grew up playing pretty much every sport you think of. Swimming, uh, hockey, basketball, baseball, football, you name it, I most likely did it. Um, and then so that followed me my entire life and all the way through high school, I played football, which was my most competitive sport. I was able to go ahead and play through college for a little bit at Sacramento State. And after I stopped playing football, I decided you know it wasn't for me anymore. Um, I found another sport that gave me the same passion, gave me the same drive, gave me the same teamwork, camaraderie, uh, which is CrossFit, and I've fallen in love with it ever since I found it. What is that feeling that you that you get when you're competing? Yeah, so when I first started, you know, I knew that I wanted to compete in some level. Uh, I didn't think it would take me to where I am today, um, but when I'm competing, the first competition I ever did, I, I'll remember it forever, was nervous didn't think I was prepared, um, but when I got out there, I felt just like fo football, right? I was uh, tunnel vision, ready to go, zoned in. Uh, do you have a fear of failure of yours? Like one that stuck out that that has, you know, seemed super detrimental at the time, but now that you're looking back, it was like a turning point for you. Yeah, so it would probably be going back to that very first competition I ever did. Um, there was a movement called the handstand push-up. I thought I could go in there and just beast it out. And it took a lot more technique than I thought and anticipated. And from that point on, I got a lot better at those. And that's probably one of my favorite movements now. And anytime I see that in a workout or a competition, you know, I'm ready to go, I'm dialed in, and I'm, I'm gonna attack it and, and be the best one on the floor at the handstand push-ups. Tell us about like when you're most uh, like your best accolades that you've had during competing for CrossFit competitions? So over the past four years that I've been competing, um, I've done a lot of local competitions. I'd always hear about these big ones going on, you know, in different states and stuff like that. And I always thought that'd be really cool to compete in. Didn't think that I was had the potential to, to be at that, that capacity. Um, but just a couple months ago, me and my buddies formed a team of three uh, in what's called the Kill Cliff Granite Games. It's in Minnesota. And we went in there, it's a three day competition. You know, we busted our butts, we trained for it, we prepared for it. There was 40 other teams that we had to compete against for first place. And we walked away with the win uh, after that three day weekend and couldn't be more proud. Um, that's definitely my most proud moment that I've ever been in uh, with CrossFit. And I'm gonna remember that for the rest of my life, definitely. Do you have any um, comments or any thoughts for the people that are, you know, stuck in maybe like a nine to five that they don't like or doing something that they hate and, you know, daydreaming about something that they like? Do you have any advice for those people? Yeah, so I guess I, I could categorize myself in that. You know, I, I would go, you know, back in school. I would go, you know, the whole school the whole school week and look forward to that weekend, right? Um, and then going now, graduating college, going more, you know, in a professional aspect with, you know, with a job. Um, for people that are kind of stuck in that slump, I would, I would suggest get out of, of that work environment as soon as you can afterwards. Get social with people, uh, whether that's in a CrossFit gym, whether that's if you live at the beach, go to the beach. Just really utilize your environment around you and the people around you to really just kind of, just kind of bring you um, to just a more happy place right after work. Um, that way you're not looking forward to just that weekend. Maybe you're looking forward to going to the CrossFit gym right after work, you know, and, and so on and so on the next day and the next day and just keeps falling and flowing. And uh, you'll find yourself being a lot more, or a much more happier state of mind. Awesome, dude. Well, Scott, thank you so much for the interview and keep grinding, baby. Thanks, man, appreciate it, Blake.